Good afternoon, everybody. How are we doing? It is Steve here at Don Amot in Hilton, and welcome to the showground. And today we've got uh, another exciting video. All my videos are exciting, let's face it. Um, and this is a VW Transporter. It's a T6 Transporter. DSG, it's done 54,000 miles and it's a 2016 and it's the 140 PS and this is a Redditch conversion so obviously we normally talk about the Camper Kings this one's slightly different as a Redditch conversion it's in the lovely blue and it's got a couple of little additions so you've got your alloy wheels, your side running boards your front splitter that just sort of you know, really finish it off so let's start off and have a walk around so they are the 17 inch alloys Previous owners put the wind deflectors on as well, and it has got the Fiamma F45S awning that also has the runners for your driveway awning as well. As you step back looking at the sides, you can see that the running boards do look really, really cool. It's a short wheelbase, blacked out privacy glass to the rear, and also at the back, and it is the high line, so it does have your rear parking sensors. Now, the first thing to point out is there's no gas bottles on this this has the gas fill system so if you look there that's where you'll fill your gas store system so that will be certain petrol stations will stock it so it's basically lpg round to the driver's side and you've got your mains power in just there and then everything else is pretty generic and pretty standard it is five traveling four sleeping and then obviously two people will be at the top so we'll head on in and again, the previous owner has just added some little cool security devices. So there is a key to open it. And that's the same for the back. So heading on in, straight away you can see we've got the lovely blue flooring. And then I really quite like this whole um, check seating because I think it's very, um, very retro, very Golf GTI-esque. Previous owners even put this in here to protect yeah. your, your hob. So it's a two hob. And then we'll put that back so it keeps it nice protected. Yeah, a nice textured wood finish worktop. Nice deep sink. And then storage, storage, storage. Oh, I'm going to get it out of my system because I love saying storage. So you've got a nice big drawer there. You've got storage at the top here that runs all the way along. In here as well. So, and you've got a power inverter as well, a 100 watt power inverter. So it has got a solar panel this one it's got the gas heating system so this is how you control your heating from here and then if we switch everything on apart from the water pressure there you can see that the lights come on and all of your spotlights then illuminate and if I press that there you'll see that that tells you how full or empty your gas is so you can see that it's full and then just the little things that I really like here look you've got the chrome power socket it's obviously only going to work when you're plugged in but it's a really, really nice touch. You've got a chrome power socket down here with two USB ports as well. Um, a 12 volt there, a 12 volt here, and then more USB ports here. So it's really, really well kitted out. It's in a lovely finish. Obviously, you've got the runner here for your table, which sits just there. Yep. So it's nice and out the way. Again, these little 3D printed coat hangers, which are just really cute. And if we're looking at the cab, it's been well looked after as you can see as we said dsg it's got a rear reversing camera on this one as well as the rear parking sensors and it also has the automatic headlights as well so this bed as when wendy's just excited look she's loves she loves she loves looking at the front end of it so this bed at the back here, slightly different it's a rock and roll bed as before but there's a couple of pins just under here that if you push that and that that side that'll open them out and then it will slide forward yeah, to then form a bed and it is really really loose it's very easy to do to get in and out and then to put it back again you're just doing that and then you're just repinning that side and that side and that'll then lock that back in got your privacy screens to the windows there and also there and then if we head back out into the boot so there's even more storage up here look in here there's a bit of storage and it's even got an onboard water as well that's down there and a solar panel charger as you can see in there as well with all your fuse boxes so um, it's pretty much got everything everything that you need so we'll head out and we'll head into the back and just sort of show you 
from the back so again the previous owner has made it very very difficult to get in i just need to make sure i've got the right key okay so again more storage space and there's quite a lot under there so it's very very spacious under there for those uninitiated these aren't seats um, but you can sit on them while you're empty and you're taking your wellies off awning winder and then this here is where you'll fill your water um, yeah. for your onboard water tank so it's really really well kitted out yeah. it's a great little motor this it's got the blue motion technology so it should be a little bit better on your fuel um, and then we'll walk back round to the front and Wendy will just do all the exciting shots of it so as I say, this will be on our showground today and it will be on our website later today. So if it has interested you because it is a DSG um, and they are very, very popular, it isn't going to be here long for that reason. So pick up the phone, ask to speak to Steve because I'd love to look after you. If you are heading down to view it and you're heading some distance, just give us a ring first to make sure that it's not sold because we wouldn't want you to make a journey for no reason. But it'd be lovely to see you and it'd be lovely to show you around it. So thanks for watching and um, yeah, hopefully I get to speak to you soon. Take care. Ta-da.